are those voices? entire life. I'm trapped in here. These stairs. I'm climbing these stairs again. I need to get out. The voices are calling me. dreams again. I've had them repeatedly ever since my mother died and left me that music box in her will. Harry always said that old family heirloom had something to do with my family's strange disease. If the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness, I'll search for one myself, you said. And in that search, it seems you lost yourself. I don't think I'd ever... Pardon me, madam, but the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. All right, time to gather my things. Oh, I'd better cover up my hands before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. I receive... Oh, I love this song. I received a mysterious package at my house. I stored all its contents in my locked suitcase. The Amazing Adventures of Nora Everhart, Art Teacher. Oh my, I have the worst memory. I forgot the combination again. Thank goodness I always bring my journal with me to write things down. Now it's open. I saw this island in one of my unsettling dreams. I drew it as soon as I woke up. This strange and sharp relic came in the package I received at home. Harry Everhart, my husband, my partner, and my dear old pal. A brass key with the letters CW engraved on it, and some enigmatic instructions. We're all set, madam. The what boat was ready. I thinking when I brought all these dresses on this trip? Not exactly a clawfoot tub, but you can't always get what you want. Okay, Nora, 
From here on out, you're on your own. Lower the motorboat. Be careful with Mrs. Everhart's equipment, lads. We'll be back to pick you up in three days. I really hope you find your husband there, madam. I hope it too. I'll see you in three days then. But please be careful on that island. You know what the legends say about it. I'll take care. Thank you, Captain Hudson. Well, here I am, in the middle of the ocean after traveling across half the world, just miles away from where my husband is supposed to be. You left a year ago to search for a cure for my affliction. Your letters kept me close to you, but suddenly they stopped coming. What happened, Opal? What did you find? Whatever it was, it led you to hire a crew and set sail from San Francisco to Tahiti. And from there, to this place. An island in the middle of the Pacific that the locals refused to even name. Everything is familiar. It's so familiar. As impossible as that may sound. Is this the island I dreamed about? This, this can't be a coincidence. idyllic island, surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to keep anybody from entering. Why? There's definitely something strange about this place. if I can find any trace of you around here. I know it's just resonance, but I do love listening to the sea in them. A tent. So somebody was on this island recently. Well, that's a vivo. A flute that the Polynesians play with their nose. I won't be playing that. A miniature va'a. A Polynesian outrigger canoe. Beautifully crafted, too. This machete is completely worn down. The blade is dull. A note written in French. I only understand two words, ill and mort, island and death. It must be a warning about the dangers of the island. Someone has been chopping down palm trees, a lot of them. Maybe to build something. I feel quite good. I dare say I might even walk a little faster than usual. Those markings seem to represent the sea. I'll make a note of them in my journal. It might come in handy.
Looks like it opens from the other side. These wooden figures are called Unu. This seems to be telling a story. A bone fish hook. but clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island. A carving tool. This box. CW? Those are the initials on the brass key. It opens it. So whoever sent me this key was here. This is starting to look like a scavenger hunt. From what I've read, the Polynesians don't need doors. So why build such a big one? Well, that did something. Hmm, something's missing here. Hmm, something's missing here. Well, look what's hidden here. This may be the first time I trespass a private property. My childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most thrilling thing. Is that... Harry? Harry! You were here! You were here and I found you, damn it! Where are you now? Where is everybody? Where did you and all your crew go? Lady Shannon? That name sounds familiar. I'd better check my journal. A mechanical bridge? That doesn't fit in with Polynesian traditions either. 
This reminds me of those slot machines that Harry and I saw at the Atlantic City Pier. But a Polynesian version. since I took such a long walk. This fresh air is doing me wonders. I can feel the air is denser here in this mangrove swamp. Rays of sunlight shining through. Another symbol. Beautiful mountainous landscape. This sort of pond is a Polynesian fishing technique. There's another symbol inside it. Now that I've crossed half the world, I wouldn't mind crossing the other half. But I have to do it with you, old pal. Oh my, this is so beautiful. What were these birds called? Uh, lorikeets. Cole's lorikeets. There are lorikeet feathers scattered around this umu. I'll draw the symbol in my journal. This looks like cargo from an earlier voyage, long before Harry's expedition. A shortcut. That's convenient. Harry said that he would go to the end of the world to find a cure, and by the looks of it, he wasn't lying. We promised we'd never lie to each other. 
from the moment we started dating, no matter how harsh the truth. I hit the jackpot. That's my ticket across the river then. How long have I been walking? I've lost track of the time. Wow, what is this place? I'd better have a look around this abandoned village. Harry's crew might have stayed here. Hmm, is something missing here? like something straight out of an adventure novel. The Everhard Expedition. They set up camp here. Could these tikis be some sort of guardians? Looks like some of the crew members didn't get along too well. A forbidden ritual? Fascinating. Fascinating. Let me record it. So, you said you've been on this island before. Yes. Some years ago. I made a rookie mistake. I did it from my fishing route to go to what looked like a better spot. Less than an hour had gone. I went suddenly. My va. So now I you believe in magical pal? And I got this lovely souvenir from that mistake. Heavens, what gave you that scar? It's not a what, but a who. A Polynesian man covered in tattoos. I didn't get a good look at I'm not sure if he looks angry or but scared. It like a secret you I never seen. Well, anyway, what well? I was lucky enough to reach that white beach. The one where we landed on the island. A man came three days later and got me out of there. He brought me to the port of Papiti without speaking a single word. Time passed, and I promised myself that I would go on with my life and forget about this damn island. Why did you agree to return to the island, then? I need to know what happened to me, to discover the truth. I don't know if you get me. Absolutely.
Blowing an ancient hatch with dynamite sounds like a fool's errand to me. Ooh, looks like someone didn't like you very much, Harry. This fella sounds pretty hot-headed. I'm not sure what to expect on this island, but I hope I won't regret not having a gun. I've never cared much for games of chance. They were packing a lot of heat when they came to this island, but they took all the guns with them. Very neat. Quite a looker. A fashion model, maybe. <laughs> Looks like this fellow was a real heartbreaker. His real name was... Costas? Nice comb. Who worries this much about their appearance in a place like this? little fellow. An amulet with a carved Marquesian cross. The symbol represents balance and protection. Why is this hammock so far from the rest of the campsite? The river cuts through that canyon. It doesn't look safe to cross. Oh, I must have found the luxury huts. Pretty swanky. I've seen Harry keep even restaurant checks for bookkeeping. He would never tear up a piece of valuable information. Got it. It's 
been ripped out of something else. That Frank seems to feel guilty for whatever happened. I feel really bad for him. Well, considering how poorly Harry draws, this isn't half bad. More drawings. Interesting. Look at him. Giddy as a schoolboy. Icor? You put together quite an expedition, Harry. And all just for little old me. The Harry of a heart I know would never have given up on this. Something must have happened that kept him from solving it. Black ooze. In a telescope? Where did you get this strange device, Harry? My dear old pal, I know you won't ever read this letter, but I'm accustomed to writing you and it comforts me in this strange place. This island is riddled with secrets, so many secrets, but I'm not only talking about mechanisms and contraptions, Nora. I dare say that something on the island clouds one's judgment, otherwise I don't have an explanation for Roy's actions. The man was arrogant, impulsive, and a little cocky, but he was no fool. We weren't friends by any means, but he didn't deserve what happened to him. Nobody deserves that. We may have made some progress in finding the cure for your illness, but at what price? I miss you so much, Nora. Harry. He may not say it explicitly, but Harry blames himself for Roy's death. I know him too well. And I miss you too, Harry. Jeepers! A stranded ship! Harry hated asking his parents for money to fund this expedition. The Everhearts are a wealthy Boston family quite old-fashioned. They were never really pleased with his eldest marrying a middle-class girl. That's why he wanted to get away from them as soon as he could, just like his siblings did after him. Someone on the expedition died. A farewell message from a friend. I never thought that this expedition would cause anybody's death. Oh, I'm sure Harry never thought so either. If he'd known this was going to happen, he'd never have come here. Explosives. Looks dangerous.
What a delicate piece of craftsmanship. They use the emblem as a headstone for Roy's grave. This one resembles a shark. A secret compartment. What kind of stone is this? I've never seen any substance quite like it. This appears to be the shrine of a Polynesian chieftain. Wow, really old photo. The island is wearing a lot of tribal ornaments, but none of them seem Polynesian. Impressive work. Is that a fish pattern? They're composed of four pieces. How... how is that possible? What fascinating technology. Oh, oh my! Black ooze again. Skin alterations. Like... like the ones on my hands. He's losing his mind. Cripes! This man was splashed with that black liquid. Whoever took this picture must have a really cool head. Those spots look all too familiar. Is this a picture of my hand? Erythrocytes. Hmm. Aren't those red blood cells? Wait a minute. Is this what was in the doctor's blood? Ugh. I can't stand the smell of medical equipment. It reminds me of my illness. I'd better not touch it. 
Given what happened, they shouldn't have either. Is this stone structure a hatch of some sort? Well then, I'm going down. Come on, Nora. Deep breath. Is somebody whispering? Hello? Is anyone down here? You were close to something here, Harry. Let me see if I can solve it. Well, this looks like another job by Handyman Harry. Maybe he heard the whispers too. Well, that was easy. I feel disoriented down here. I almost feel as if they're watching me. Were these eyes related to the ritual? This eye... Is it calling to me? Do they have two pupils? Are these ornamental? Or something else? Another eye. Ah, uh, I hear whispering. I'd better draw it, just in case. Oh, the whispering, it... it stopped. How old is this mural? It looks really ancient. It depicts a ritual of some sort. What are they doing to their eyes? should save some time.
Yes, I think I solved it. I wonder what I might be able to see with this lens. It fits. What? What on earth? What is happening? My god. What? What was that that I saw? What were those stars? What peculiar rock formations? Is this basalt? It's broken, but I might as well draw what I can see of it in my journal. It's some sort of Polynesian coat of arms. Is that an octopus? Hmm, something's missing inside that emblem. can press these star-shaped tiles. What is this? Where am I? Am I dreaming again? This is different. It isn't my recurring dream. I can't stop walking. My legs aren't responding.
Holy Moses, what... What is that creature on the horizon? Wait a moment, I... No, no, no! Breathe underwater. I have to get back. I, I have to find. What is that? What kind of creature is this? I need to get a closer look. This speech. Oh, I have a terrible headache. That ship, torn apart and cast so far up the beach. What on earth could have happened to it? I wonder what else could be seen beyond these shores. Ropes are frayed, and there are strange marks on the wooden pole. Looks like they took items from the stranded ship. his contorted face. Is this what's going to happen to me? Those footprints definitely do not look human. This picture is taken from a distance. What is he doing? Floating rocks? I believe Harry visited this exposition when he was looking for answers for my illness. It's too dark to portable typewriter. A pulp magazine. I love Chandra Hogarth stories. Someone here had a green thumb. He's repairing my old music box. Attack? What attack? What happened on this ship?
expedition only has five members now. Clothing. It hasn't been worn in a long time. A handkerchief with the letters EDW embroidered on it. It's stained with blood and black ooze. Oh dear. This dock was a certifiable loom. by his side, whoever you are. Looks like Frank wanted to leave, but I don't know if Harry ever read this letter. These two fellows seem to get along pretty well. There are only four chairs around the campfire. need to be turned on. Hmm. It might need to be turned on. Hmm. It might need to be turned on. I I've never seen Harry so angry. A rock stained with black ooze. Looks like the prototype of something. How can someone build something like this out of stone? You always did have a good ear, Harry. What kind of doodad is this? of these stones. Hmm. These symbols are linked to the piano keys. to be turned on. I still doubt whether this isn't just some ghastly dream.
It's curious, but it's the first time since I got sick that I feel useful. Harry is depending on me, and not the other way around. What odd structure. It doesn't look like a building, though. workshop. This must be the highest part of the island. And that diamond shape again. How striking. You made it work, Harry. Now it's my turn. This is the reason the ship was scavenged. Low torch. Looks like it's been used a lot. Harry isn't usually very chummy, but he really seems to like Frank. huge stone door looks like an exit. How does it open? This ornate structure certainly isn't natural, but not man-made either. Uh, this feels ominous. be instructions to operate this bizarre structure. Those symbols seem to indicate the height of the tide. Those symbols seem to indicate the height of the tide.
I'm quite scared of storms. When I was a child, I used to cover myself with the sheets to not listen to the noise of thunder. I honestly doubt I'd like to cover myself with anything in here. Time to overcome my fears, I guess. was ripped open. A few jagged rocks couldn't have caused a gash of this size. Oh, this place gives me the creeps. see any trace of the ship's crew, nor their remains. That is a door nail. That voice. Is that Harry? No, just a recording. The black ooze's properties are perplexing. down those numbers in my journal.
Captain Hodgson told me that knowing the lunar cycles is useful for better navigation at night. So, Harry probably took this calendar from the Lady Shannon. engineering. I've been interested in knowing how things work since I was a child, but I always thought technology wasn't for me. What nonsense. My dear old pal, I think I'm getting closer to understanding what is happening to you, but it is taking a toll on my sanity. As fascinating as this island and its ancient and unfathomable wonders may seem, it's also a place plagued with misfortune and calamities. We lost Roy at the campsite. We almost lost our engineer on this beach. The doctor went mad and stabbed him with a strange knife. And all because of this island, Nora. Initially, we were optimistic and in high spirits, but now we've all become resentful and discouraged. Even I can feel how I am constantly assaulted by dark thoughts. Anyway, if what I am going through here helps me find you a cure, it'll have been worth it. I hope to find an answer in the temple on that mountain peak. Love you always. Harry. 
He is worried, exhausted, disheartened. I will find you, my love. Wow. Let's see what the next one does.